Hello everyone. I am here with my fall journal number two to share with you. Um, I've been gone a while because I haven't really been feeling good and my hands have just been like swelled up this finger this thumb. I have some arthritis or something going on but my hands haven't been feeling good either so I haven't been journaling but I do have like three or four journals done that I haven't done videos on so here we go. This is fall number two journal and um, I used some paper out of my stash. I don't recall what paper line this is. Some puffy letters and I put crackle stickles on them after I used rusty hinge on them. They were white and backed this pretty wheat advertisement on the back with some book page and some creepy cloth and some um, peachy rosettes and this is the back it is a clasp envelope and I used a rusty hinge around the edges as well and on this I can't, orange marmalade I think I used on this um, seam binding and vintage some lace all about the book and I'll do this really quick before my phone starts ringing and all that stuff um, this is just a flower I fussy cut out and behind this is a tsunami rose I just cut it in half because it was too big Tim Holtz playing card and a junk that treasures little tag and this opens up for journaling and this paper on the inside is also um, just out of my stash I don't remember what paper line that is sorry I used Artie Mays's fall um, kit again autumn kit love it it's amazing truly love the colors and so that's the kit I used inside and here is a little Rita flip with a little vintage flower and some tickets and uh, this is out of one of my vintage children gardening books and backed it with um, coffee dyed paper so the ones that are sewn on I coffee coffee dyed or backed them with coffee dyed paper all the ones that are sewn on and this is out of um, this is also Artie Mays one of her fall tickets all paper is coffee dyed this piece is dreams etc and again backed it with coffee dyed paper and over here on this paper clip I just slide it off and behind it I put these two tags and then this one nothing on the back of those and then this flips up and I put some extra paper under there for journaling for like a little hiding spot let me get my hands to cooperate and put that back on a doily it's more of the gorgeous paper and Edith Holden tag and I didn't put anything on the top I just sewed around it and again coffee dyed paper another little flip down with vintage doily flower did a little stamping and made a little pocket out of some leftover paper that I had used and with these two coffee dyed paper love that paper and this is just a little fabric flip or lace flip <laughs> and this is just an um, the page that I didn't use in the book so I folded it up and put it inside for journaling purposes some these bags I got from um, Miss Vani for stamping and this is some children's handwriting practice paper that I cut up and put in here for journaling. Oh, and here's another little pocket. Um, it, this bag 
holds these two little tags. These tags are from Junk That Treasures. And then inside is this gorgeous tag. And then this folds down so you can write behind it. And let's put this back on there to hold the bag up. And put everything back inside. Oh, this is, um, this tag is Dreams Etc. Sorry if my hands don't cooperate as well as I'd like them to. And over here, again, the back with coffee dyed paper, sewed all around it. I love the feel of that. And a recipe card and this beautiful card. And it says home sweet home. A little oops, I have to glue that down. It didn't stick very good. I can't push real hard on my thumb because it feels like there's knives in it. This bag is so washi taped in. A tag from the kit, gorgeous kit. And this is out of my vintage garden book. And over here this pocket is from the kit and this is from Pinterest and over here this envelope is just clipped on holding this beautiful ticket the envelope is empty and it's just tucked inside also with this journaling card and this is another one of the window envelopes and I just made two little booklets on each side with a bunch of journaling paper and then this this side's coffee dyed and some of this and then this side's just the lined with a little um, leaf it's been a while since I did a video so I'm forgetting what I've done this is um, Edith Holden book page and uh, index card this daily card from um, Junk That Treasures. And this is Artie Mays as well. Journaling. Beautiful. I did some um, peroxide salt in vinegar and rusted up some paper clips. And boy, did they get rusty. And this is Edith Holden. They're almost too rusty to even put on here. They were like brand new and I rusted them up and I love them. I mean, decoupage napkin and just did some pretty on the back and washi taped it inside. And this is um, some paper out of my stash. Backed on coffee dyed paper. And then I think this one is Tsunami Rose. Oh, this paper clip also comes off and this Edith Holden page I just thought it was so pretty I couldn't decide which side I wanted to use so I just washi taped it in and made a little flip and made a pocket out of it like so and tucked this one over here a vintage garden children's garden book and then this beautiful card I'm trying not to show the back. Somebody asked me to stop showing blank paper, so I'm trying not to. And I'm sorry if you're watching and I'm still doing it. It's going to take me a while to not do that. But, yeah. I can't please everyone, but I'm trying. And this amazing... I think this one... See, I did it again. Ugh. This one is Tsunami Rose. And a butterfly paper clip. And inside this gorgeous paper and a time card and this flips open the bag is sewn on and over here I have I did not glue this one shut so you can write in it or glue it shut if she wants to this is part of the kit and an index card and this was an extra page as well so I just made a pocket out of it. I love it and I did not not want to use it so I just made a pocket out of it and put it in the book. Another little flip with some layering 
And this I just made out of book page. I made, I just sewed some fabric on it and made a little envelope pocket out of it and put this little cuteness inside. Ah, I did it again. Oh, I didn't use book page. I used the music note paper. Sorry. See that? But I just love the texture of these and the way they feel. Another gorgeous ticket. And just did some layering there and another page I didn't use out of the kit. Lined on that side and plain on the other side. Coffee dyed. Over here is just a leaf that I got and this Tim Holtz pumpkin card. And this is another envelope. It's not glued down. So she can either glue it or not. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So, so pretty. Um, Edith Holden page and one of my sister's flowers. And this is another page that I just folded up like that. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I couldn't. I just had to put it in here. And I just made a little envelope out of it. I don't think there's anything else behind there. Nope. There's not. And over here is another little baggie I got from during, um, Oh my goodness, a tattered dream. And I just made a little pocket out of that with this tag inside. And then this one. I don't know what's on the back, so I'm sorry. There's those two. These are dreams, etc. And this is out of my little garden book. And this is Artie Mays, I believe. I just bought our glued it on, made a little flip out, and this flips out, and there's some beautiful trim on there. Edith Holden page pocket that I made. Another beautiful ticket. Another tag. And this one is sewn as well. And this is a little belly band and this flips up and behind it is another Edith Holden tag and then these two I love these <laughs> so cute and that is my fall number two journal and this one is sold already but I wanted to get the video up before she got mailed out and um yeah, stay tuned. I have a couple more videos coming. It might take tomorrow for me to upload them all, but I wanted to at least get this one up today. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye.